the step parent needs to be supported in, in a disciplinary role by the parent. And it makes logical sense, right? I mean, what do adults do in families? They parent. Uh-huh. But there are a bunch of problems with that. The first is that the research is pretty clear. Kids just aren't ready. They aren't ready for step parents to step into a disciplinary role. Mm-hmm. Uh, it works a lot better when parents maintain the disciplinary role. And what I say to step parents is connection before correction. It's actually mm-hmm. helpful for parents too, but for step parents, it's a pretty, pretty mm. uh, solid role. Um, and I think the thing that we can bring from the rest of our work is that the best parenting for kids is what we call authoritative parenting. Mm-hmm. Authoritative parenting is warm and connected and empathic and also makes clear, uh, realistic demands for kid behavior and follows through. Um, the problem is, and this is something step parent, uh, uh, therapists will see a lot in your office, you'll see the step parent saying, your kid's a slob, your kid's manipulative, your kid's rude, and the parent's saying, but she's just a kid, you're too harsh, you're overreacting. Mm-hmm. And of course, the less the parent gets it, the more the step parent ups the ante. Um, and it's very, it, it's sometimes helpful, but it's really helpful to therapists to know this kind of polarization is um, very normal. You, you hear it all. In fact, I could give you a, you give me a dialogue, I'll tell you who's the parent and who's the step parent. It turns out, of course, what's best for kids, what I say to uh, couples is, well, it turns out you both have a piece of the truth. Mm-hmm. Kids need warmth. They need connection. They also need uh, clarity about uh, what the rules are, what's realistic. Mm 